Outstanding. Hello, people, and welcome to another episode of What? Featuring this time from Ninja B, a kingdom for Kiflings, a city building game. With that, we're going to load a game. Shows you how you start out a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Alright, as you can see, this is my avatar. Now, normally it's not a big thing for all those folks who've played arcade games with our avatars. However, when this was released in 2008, it was the first game to actually allow full avatar control in the new Xbox experience that was just released for that season. This game does have a sequel. It's called A World of Keflings, which I do own. And it can be just as fun. As you can see, I've made progress on this. I just completed a town hall. Just, you know, minutes ago, before we even loaded this game. Doing something else. Exactly. Things you may not see. <laughs> My little guy wants to talk to me. This is quest base. Alright, does he want to talk? I guess he wants to talk. Oh, hey, I forgot. Pick him up to talk to him. <laughs> How awesome is that? Query for a quarry. Query or quarry in creating a kingdom. Let's try this one. You're going to need a lot of resources to make this kingdom great. If you put 25 rocks in the basic workshop, I'll ensure that more love is given to you. Okay. Basic workshop. Needs rocks. Do I have rocks going in there? I got a pile of rocks. Let's go over there and just, you know, put in the basic workshop. Was that enough rocks? I'm not sure. Don't know how many rocks to pick it up. Apparently not. So let's give him more rocks. Do, 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 do. Come on. More rocks. More rocks. I'm going to rock out. Was that enough rocks? Maybe. Getting there. There we go. Great job. Great job. Your mining skills are amazing. And you're very tall. Uh, yeah. The love has dropped out the town square. Now, let's talk about how this game actually works. You gather resources, you know, rocks, trees, uh, jewels, etc., using yourself or your keflings to create and expand your kingdom. Quite simple. Uh, features I love about this is, of course, the blueprint feature, which, you know, showcases what you need to be doing and what steps. Uh, different actions, uh, good and bad, reveal different blueprints so I haven't quite figured out entirely which I'll show you here in a minute on my other level just so you can get an idea other than that once you select a building which me there we go once you select something it's like a stone cutter I want to do that right sure uh, it's details it shows you what components you need where they're being built from and what kind of keffling it needs see uh, that little Symbol of the dude, the plain old hat, that's a plain old keffling. And then, of course, it shows you what it makes. It makes little stones, you know, from rocks. Uh, as you get further, it gets even more complicated. So we're going to select that. And then, when you make something, say, for example, oh, let's, what do I need? And I need the, oh, I do need a platform. And a workstation. And then over here, let's go make uh, don't I have those? Where should I put the stone cutter? You know, I'm going to put him by the lumber guy. Alright. I love how it places. You can change this. You can move your buildings. It's kind of a pain in the butt, though. Let's put it right there. There we go. Grab this thing over here. Grab 
Creating a kingdom. Human grades of fire. Bio will put you to the test. 25 logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm not going to talk to you. Oh, simple tower. That's what I need. Okay. Sometimes I forget where I need to get these things from. All right. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's a good position. I like that. Now the stone cutter is next to the lumber guy, which for me makes sense. Then all you have to do is... Well, let's get some rocks here. I like to centralize everything because you have so many different things that do uh, so many different upgrades and variations. It's best if you try to centralize. Oh, that's right. He needs a Kefling. Well, let's give him a Kefling. Hey, dude. Check this out. You're not a stone cutter. Yay. Here we go. And now, check it out. I've got cut stones. Moving on. Let's check out my other level. First, we're going to save this one. Is this mine? Yeah, that's mine. Well, they're all mine, but, you know. I don't want to override a level I've done before. Let's load a game. Yes, I'm sure. All right. Loading, loading, loading. Let's talk about achievements. One of the achievements in this game... Which, apparently, I pressed the wrong button. Yay. Is vanity. Build a glorious statue of oneself. And, of course, my favorite, Big Bully. Became the Big Bully of the Village, which involves kicking your little keflings. Can be entertaining. Parts of this game, which, as you can tell, that is a nice colossus. Well, you can make statues, which is that guy right there, the sculptor. You can make, oh, let's hear all kinds of trees and little, hey, hey, watch this. Whee! Kick the little bastard. <laughs> cheap, cheap. These little plants and shapes of animals. You can change the roof color of your buildings, among other things. And if you haven't noticed by now, I have a rather large kingdom. Well, this is the first save that I did for this game and hence the reason it's a little disorganized but there's a lot to it this will take you quite a while speaking of taking a while one thing I should mention is, is, is the music while the music is is whimsical and, and, and actually quite creative it, it can get repetitive um, mainly because the time that it takes to do everything in this game this is not a, a a game that's it's it's not a short game. It's going to take you a number of hours to complete it, and that's okay, especially when it comes to you know city building games. It's just fun that way. Part of the uh, game also is you know quests as you saw, which include anything from putting this to putting that uh, into here. You know like oh give me gems, uh, give me rocks, give me wood. To hey, could you find a pair of sheep shears? We can't shear a sheep. You'll have to do some exploring and some adventuring, and yeah, yay! All right, I should shout out to Ninja B a little bit because I have a number of their games besides this one and the sequel. I have Cloning Clyde, which you know I recommend checking out, and Outpost Koloki which is another kind of a city-building game only done in space. And on that note, one of my favorite phrases, look at all these people. That's where my people live, by the way. <laughs> Thanks again for watching this episode of What? I look forward to producing more What's on more systems, maybe. I don't know. Who cares? You'll find out. Well, I already told you I was going to anyway. Now I'm just rambling. Yeah, just rambling. Ramble on, ramble on. Maybe next time I'll show you the sequel. Till then, people. Bye bye.